Hi guys, this is Lena at GradeLink again. Thanks for joining me for the financial webinar video series. This is video 16 in our series, and we've been looking at the ledger. We've learned how to add payments into the ledger, how to add scholarships, how to manually add charges. Again, you do not need to add any charges in the ledger if you already have a student on a pay plan for those charges. Uh, so now that we know how to input these charges, what I'd like to do is cover some of the reports that you can run from the financial section. And um, one of those most critical reports is a statement. And so this video is going to show you how to run a statement and also how to publish those statements online so that you can generate a bill for parents. So we're looking at the ledger currently. When I'm ready to run a statement, I want to make sure that I have the billing cycle closed for the month. So the first place I'm going to go is the Billing tab at the top of the page. When I click on Billing, I'm looking here at the 2013-2014 school year, but the school year I'm interested in is 2014-2015. So I'm going to click in the search bar below the word Session, and I'm going to check this box just to the left of 2014-2015 and click Apply. The reason I did that was because I wanted to view the billing cycles within the 2014-2015 school year. And I can see that March is currently closed. But let's say, for example, that uh, I'm done with my transactions for April, and it's the 25th, for example, and I want to now close down my April billing cycle, and I'm ready to run statements. So I would click on April, and then on the right side of the screen, below the period status drop-down, I would change it from open to closed. And then I would click Save. Okay, remember that when you close the billing period, that any students who had pay plan charges, most likely for tuition, for example, those students would now have their pay plan charges automatically appear in the ledger. Once the billing period is closed, then I'm ready to run a statement for April. So I'm going to go to my Reports tab now at the top of the page. And I'm going to select the student on the left. And then uh, in this white box, I have some options as to which report I'd like to run. And right now I'm interested in running a statement, so I would select Statements. I'm going to choose the session, 2014-2015. And then I have the option of running a statement for an entire billing period as well as for billing period range. So I'm going to say this statement is for the billing period from March 1st through the April period close date, so April 25th. I also have the option instead of choosing a custom date range if I wanted to pick a date range that the statement's for. But I'm just going to click back and run by billing period. Then I can run by all students, or a particular student, or by a family. And I'll touch on the family statements in the next video. I'm going to choose a particular student. When I use the student filter, then I'll see a list of my students uh, below. Right now, I only see one student, Picasso, here. The reason why I only see one student appearing in this drop-down is because for this range of time that I've selected, this student is the only one who has information entered in the ledger. So if there's absolutely no financial info for a student, then you will not be able to run a statement for them. So. I've selected the student that I'm interested in. And then I would just click Run Refresh Report. 
And that will give me a preview of the statement. I see the date range on the upper right, the address of the school, and the address of the student. This address is pulling from your Students tab. So it's the address that's currently on file for the student. And then I see the date, the description, and the amount of each of the charges. Um, so for example, I have a tuition charge at the top for 200. On April 17th, I have that scholarship that I input for the student. And any item in the amount column that is in parentheses indicates that it was either a payment or some sort of money that was credited towards the student's account. So I see that twice here. And finally, there's a credit balance in this case. So because there's parentheses here, it means that the student uh, currently has overpaid or has a credit of $330 in their account for this date range. If the student owed a balance, which is probably the more likely scenario, then you would not see parentheses here. At the bottom, I see the memo that I typed in, tuition is due May 1st. If you recall, that was what I typed in on my billing tab. There's a memo for each of the billing cycles. Once I once I have this report up here, if I'd like to print it, I have the option of clicking on this floppy icon, and I can export this to Excel, PDF, or Word. I'm going to click the PDF, and I see it downloaded here. So if I'd like to print this from this page, I do have that option. I want to show you now how you can actually make sure that parents can download this from within their own GradeLink account if you would like. So to publish statements online, I would need to go to my Admin tab in the upper right, and then my Settings button at the top of the page. And I would need to make sure that this checkbox is selected that says Publish Statements Online. I also want to make sure that on my sessions, I have not suppressed the publishing of online statements. So this box needs to be unchecked. Once I have run a statement for a student, I can click on the ledger, and then I can click on the student's name and online statements. And I can see that online access is now on. And anything that I see on this page is actually available on the parent side. So the parent could click on this item, for example, from within their account and generate the same PDF that we looked at before. It looks very similar within the parent's account. They have these. Uh, blue links that allow them to download the PDF, their statement. Okay, So that's the basics of how to run a statement for one student and how to make sure that it's published online if you would like to publish it online. Uh, one last thing I want to mention about publishing statements online. If you'd like to make use of our Communicate tab, the Communicate tab is an email blast to parents, and you could always um, email blast your school, for example, and put something like, online statements are available, and then type some kind of message like, log into GradeLink to download your statement. So it can kind of serve as an alert for parents that you have uh, published statements online. 
And you can be selective as far as who you send the email to if you'd like. Just a helpful uh, suggestion there. All right, so stay tuned for the next video. We're going to talk about how you can run statements for an entire family.